What's the crack, lads? What is the most you've ever spent in a pair of runners? I know a few of you are in the thousands, but how about that genre has gotten a lot smaller, but that's exactly what someone spent back in 2021 on a pair of Jordans. You know the drill, sit back, grab your popcorn and listen to this. So the sale of a pair of Nike airships worn by Michael Jordan for back in late 2021 made people really interested in this special shit. When MJ briefly wore these sneakers, it led to a famous myth that has been proven wrong in recent years. Here's a short explanation of what this shoe is really about. So when Michael Jordan initially inked the deal with Nike in 1984, he sported the airship. Although the airship was impressive, it was essentially just a small improvement to the revolutionary Air Force One, which Bruce Kilcore had crafted two years prior. Jordan was seen wearing these during training sessions, likely in red and black. The original photo is in black and white. These sneakers were a special player exclusive with Air Jordan on the ankles rather than Nike Air. Additionally to this, some of Michael Jordan's player exclusives had unique midsole. He also wore a pair in red and white during his first regular season of the NBA on October 26, 1984. This actually was confirmed recently when the pair were sold at Softball. They were linked to Michael Jordan's fifth game for the Bolts on the 1st of November in 1984. The heels on this specific pair are simply labelled as Air. So we all know Nike has been really good at marketing. And a big part of that is how they tell stories and sometimes it changes history. And this all started with the famous band ad which kept a made up story going for over 30 years about MJ's height. Either 6'5 or 6'6 just depending who you ask. In February 1985 the NBA sent a letter to Nike stating that Michael Jordan's red and black Nike basketball broke the league's uniform rules around October 18, 1984. This letter's vague mention of the show led Knight to come up with a bandit story with some creative freedom. The bandit TV ad shows a sweaty MJ dribbling the ball as the camera pans down to his feet. And you guessed it, he's wearing the red and black Air Jordan 1s, which then get black bars put over them on the screen, while a voiceover says, Luckily the NBA can't stop you from wearing them, and then assigns it off as Air Jordan's boy Knight. After that, the Air Jordan 1s got linked with this infamous event, and Knight and others in the industry created this Monday effect with the band story. Nike even put a special bread colorway in 2011, just adding to the story even more. So let's go back to the NBA letter. So they mentioned the uniform issue on October 1984 during the preseason game against New York Knicks. So get this. Michael Jordan did wear a red and black Nike shoe, but they were actually the Air shoe. MJ didn't introduce the Air Jordan once until November 17, 1984, in the infamous red, white, and black color scheme known as the Chicago Style. But the bandit shoe couldn't have been the Air Jordan once. There's no solid proof that he wore red and black shoes during 84 or 85 regular season games. The closest was maybe during the slam dunk contest at the NBA's All Star Weekend in 84. Years later, Nike decided to distance themselves from the band store. In 2014, Jordan Brandt tweeted a clear picture of Michael Jordan wearing the red and white star shit to mark the 30th anniversary of his NBA debut. This shoe hinted at his airiness worn before the Air Jordan 1, sparking rumours of a possible retro release, which we all know took a few more years to happen. In 2020, some big changes happened in this store. In February, Nike and Jordan Brand brought out the New Beginnings pack, inspired by MJ's start in the NBA. The pack had Air Jordan 1s and more importantly, the re-release of the airships in red and white. And then in April, another piece of evidence against a bandit story came in. An OG red and black airship PE from 1984, customised for and signed by none other than MJ hit the surface. By August, Nike finally bought back the red and black version, the real bandit shoe. The photo showed double lacing, just like in an old training photo from back in the day. In October 2021, the Nike airship worn by Michael Jordan on his fifth NBA game sold for a record of 1.472 million, shedding light on the true story of this famous signature line. In 2023, Jordan Brand continued to focus on the airship, releasing multiple versions. They also launched the every game pack. Connecting to the story, Michael Jordan's lucky shorts. The airship is definitely making waves. Guys, we are going to be starting to sell sneakers very soon, so make sure you are following on all socials. The links are in the description below. Don't forget, we're the street. All right, gentlemen, I want you to repeat after me just how I do it. Ready? Rock, da 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 da